In this video, we're going to learn about the user field in Advanced Custom Fields. And basically, it allows you to link a WordPress administrator user to a page or a post. So for example, we'll go into Custom Fields, we'll create a new field group, we'll just call it uh, Page Settings, and we'll make it so that it displays on every single page. And then we'll go Add Field, and we'll just call it Author. And then just make it a user field. There are a few options here. You can choose what format of data will display. So the user array usually will display the name of the person, their email, their website, their biography. The user object kind of displays just the, the raw data of that user. I don't believe it has the user biography, but I'll show you. And then the user ID is literally just the ID of the user. You also have the ability to filter by roles, which can come in handy and also select multiple values so multiple users can be assigned but we'll just do the standard one right now we'll publish that we'll go to pages and we'll go to the services page as you can see we have an author field here which we can choose from and i'm the only author so i'll assign myself to that i'll then go into my code editor and go to the single page template which is page.php i'll create a variable called author and i'll receive that field And then we'll just see what it looks like when it comes up on the page. PHP echo print r author pre. And let's view this page now and see how it looks. Okay, so it looks like it's coming up as an actual object. So let me just go back to the field and have a look. Not sure why it came up as an object. Maybe I selected that. So I'll make it an array and refresh it again. And as you can see, it comes up with all the details you'd probably need to be able to display the user data, um, including the biography of the user and the avatar. But as you can see, the avatar automatically spits out the HTML. It's not just a link to the actual page. So that could come in handy because it's already got the classes associated with it. You can automatically uh, target them in CSS, so avatar and avatar and photo. Um, so yeah, pretty straightforward to grab that. You just need to do PHP echo author, and then I believe it's user underscore first name, and PHP echo author user last name. There you go, you could put the biography. So the biography might, uh, let's have a look and see what the biography is. Just use a description. PHP echo author, use a description. And then if you wanted the actual avatar, you don't need to wrap it in an image tag because that's not going to work. So you can't do something like PHP echo author user, what is it? User avatar. This will confuse the website. As you can see, it won't work. Because it's already spitting out the HTML, you don't need it wrapped in an image tag and you would just have it like that. Okay, so that is how you display it in an array. What about in an object. If we go back and we change this to an actual user object and we update it and refresh it, there's obviously an error because now it's not an array, it's an actual object. Let's delete that and we'll do the pre thing again. So we can see exactly what's happening. Refresh. Okay, so Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's do PHP echo author. And because it is an actual object, we need to do the arrow. So if we get the, we, we can't actually get the first name and the surname here, as you can see, we just have the display name, for example. So I'll just see if this actually works. Yes, so it allows you to 
grab the display name. It allows you to grab the email, URL, all that sort of stuff, but it does not have the biography and it does not have a link to the actual avatar. So how would you get the avatar? Well, you could do this. You could use a WordPress function, which will allow you to, it's kind of a function that's already been built in WordPress to grab the URL to an avatar. So it could be image source equals PHP echo get avatar. And then you want author ID. So that should automatically spit out the avatar. And it's not working. So let me just see what I've done wrong here. Okay, so it seems to be spitting out the actual image as well. So instead of using get underscore avatar, which spits out the HTML, you can do get avatar underscore URL, which should automatically just display the URL of the avatar of the user. Now getting the biography of the user. Well, you can use a WordPress function, which is PHP echo get underscore author underscore meta and then you can choose what you want to display so for example we can display the description or the biography and then you have to feed in the author's id and that function should automatically grab the biography and as you can see it's not working so let me just see what i've done get the get underscore the underscore author meta there you go uh then we can do uh pretty much anything. We could get the first name and the surname through the object now. Instead of using the display name, you can grab this and replace it and just change it to first underscore name. And the other one will be last underscore name. So it probably doesn't make sense to use the actual object as opposed to the array, but I'm just showing you both ways you can do it. Uh, and then there are a ton of other options that you can display as well. So in the WordPress documentation, you have all of these options. Use a first name, email, description, uh, registered date, URL, etc. Okay, so now that we've done it with one, uh, a single user, if we want to make it work with multiple users, we just have to go into the field and make it select multiple values. And let's change it back to a user array. We'll go back into the page and refresh, and then it's coming up with a, an avatar for some reason. But I'm just going to delete all of that. And I will then do the pre again, PHP echo author, and not echo, it's going to be print R author. And let's see what comes up now. So it's an array with an array inside of it. So pretty much you do a for each loop. I'll add another user just as a test. Test at person.com, test person, and I'll make them an administrator. And then we'll go back into this particular page and assign that person as well. view the page and now it's an array. So essentially you do exactly like you did before, but you do a for each loop. PHP for each, I'll change this to authors. So authors as author and for each. And then you can do PHP echo author and I believe it's user first name. Is it user first name, user last name? Yeah. So that's the array. I'll just take away the print R there and refresh. There you go. We have both the users come up. Uh, and obviously with the object, if you change it to an object, Go back to page settings, go back to the user field, change it to user object, refresh it. We're going to have that problem again. So we need to 
maybe do a print R and see what's going on. So it's coming through as an object and we, we pretty much have to do what we did last time. So we can grab the user's name by doing PHP echo get the author meta. And then it's going to be first underscore name and then pass through the author ID and you have to do the arrow because it's an object and that will be last name. Refresh it. There we go. So there you go. As you can see, um, you can use both methods, but if you just want to display the author's details in the biography, it would be better to just use an array. Uh, if you want to do anything a bit more technical, then maybe an ob user object would help. And then obviously, if you just spit out the user ID, you can always do the same thing by doing the get the author meta function in WordPress to grab all the data of that specific user. Okay, well, I hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video.